Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this lesson, we'll be solving the question we have on the board here. And it's under the fluid in rigid motion. The fluid in rigid motion. If today is your first time watching this video, I would like you to subscribe, like, share, and also share your comments so that we'll get back to you in due time. Let's go back to your question. The distance between the centers of the two arms of a U tube open to the atmosphere is 25 mm. And the U tube contains 20 centimeters high alcohol in both arms. Now the U tube is rotated about the left arm at 4.2 rads per second. Determine the elevation difference between the fluid surface in the arms. There's the diagram below to help us solve this question here. So in this question, we have to determine the elevation difference we have here. We've been given some of the parameters that we've been given the big R, that's it here. We've also been given the the height of the the fluid, which is alcohol, and that's the original height before it was being rotated. And we've also been given the the angular speed, that's four point two rads per second, and we have to determine the elevation difference. So. They've given us some key information here that it was rotated about the left arm. So we can we can get some information from there also. So we can get our Z as it's at the left arm since that was where it was being rotated. So we can have our dash dash here. Here being our origin. And also here being our R. At the bottom surface, the R being here. So R, yes, small R. Have it there. And we have our Z here. So if this side, the left side, is being rotated, we are going to get a trajectory this way. It means the fluid or the liquid as alcohol. When you rotate the the YouTube, you are going to get this type of trajectory. So we have to find the elevation difference. How high or maybe how low the fluid would would reduce, would come down. So in this we can get our R small R to be equal to zero since it's at the bottom and also since it's being rotated about the Z axis. We are going to get z to be equal to zero. So to help us find for the elevation difference, it's just we finding for the free surface at the bigger side of the radius and also the free surface at the smaller side of the radius. So what I'm trying to say is, let's say there's the elevation difference. It should be equal to z s big R minus Zs small r. So let's name this equation 1. Now, what's our Zs big r? So Zs big r is going to give us h naught, which is our original height of the fluid, which is alcohol, plus omega squared big R over 4G. So it is the formula for the big R and the formula for the small R, that's the free surface of the smaller R, is going to be H naught minus omega squared R squared over 4G. Since we made this statement that the small, the small R is equal to the we won't include this in our writing here because it will it will be equated to zero or it will it will be zero so making everything here 
zero. That's why I didn't include it at the first place. So we just get this over here. Writing this is also correct. Writing the other one is also correct. So we are coming to input these two equations here into the first equation we have here. So we have delta h is equal to, we have h naught plus omega squared r squared over 4 g minus h naught minus omega squared r squared over 4 g. So this is going to give us This and this will cancel out. And this computation is going to give us omega squared r squared over 2g. So this is what we are going to get. So now we have every information. We have our omega, which is 4.2. We have our r, which is 25. Yeah, the bigger r. We also have our j, which we know that is the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.81. So this is 4.2 squared times 25. We convert the 25 centimeters into meters. You are going to get 0 0.25 squared over 2 times 9.8. So let's compute that on our calculator and see what we are going to get. You are going to get 0 0.056 meters. So this is going to be the elevation difference between the two surfaces when it's being rotated about the Z axis at a speed of 4.2 rush per second. This is the elevation difference. Or it's going to be, if you want it in centimeters, it's going to be 5.6 centimeters. Thank you for watching this video. If you've not subscribed to this channel, I would like you to subscribe to this channel for more videos.